nous allons considérer le subjonctif. Let's look at the subjunctive with indefinite subjects and relative clauses. Now, what the heck does any of that mean? I don't know when I'm your teacher. Let's see. On verra. Let's look at a couple of sentences that use the indicative. Nous avons trouvé un prof qui peut enseigner l'espagnol et la chimie. We found a teacher who can teach Spanish and chemistry. We are stating a fact. It is factual. Therefore, we will use the indicative, otherwise known as the regular, not the subjunctive. We're stating a fact. Nous avons trouvé. Regardons la deuxième phrase. Notre chef a embauché un ouvrier qui sait fabriquer les roues et les outils. Our boss hired a worker who knows how to make wheels and tools. Notre chef a embauché. It is a fact. Our boss hired. Notre chef a embauché un ouvrier qui sait fabriquer les roues et les outils. Les outils. Now recall, when do we use the subjunctive? We use it with will, doubt, emotion, constraint. Okay? Opinions as well. Now, here, let's look at variations of these sentences that require us to use the subjunctive. Nous cherchons un prof qui puisse enseigner l'espagnol et la chimie. We are looking for a teacher who can teach Spanish and chemistry. Now, we don't know if such a professor, such a teacher exists out there. We don't know if there's going to be a teacher who shows up who can teach Spanish and chemistry. Therefore, we use a subjunctive because there is an element of doubt. Nous cherchons un prof qui puisse enseigner l'espagnol et la chimie. Regardons la prochaine phrase. Notre chef va embaucher un ouvrier qui sache fabriquer les roues et les outils. Notre chef veut embaucher. Our boss wants to hire un ouvrier qui sache fabriquer les roues et les outils. A worker who knows how to make wheels and tools. Our boss doesn't really know if that person exists or if that person's going to show up and be hired. There is an element of doubt because our boss wants to, wants to hire somebody who can do that, but we don't know if that person exists. Because of that element of doubt, we have to use subjunctive. Let's compare now. Let's look at that first sentence. Let's look at it in the indicative. Nous avons trouvé un prof qui peut enseigner l'espagnol et la chimie. Now the subjunctive. Nous cherchons un prof qui puisse enseigner l'espagnol et la chimie. Indicative. Notre chef a embauché un ouvrier qui sait fabriquer les roues et les outils. Subjunctive. Notre chef va embaucher un ouvrier qui sache fabriquer les roues et les outils. Now, I would encourage you to hit pause right now and just look at these and compare and make sure you're clear on what element it is that gives it doubt and makes you want to use the subjunctive. Push pause, and when you're done, unpause it. Now, you're going to use subjunctive in the following types of clauses. If you have a relative clause that modifi modifies a superlative, a negative, a restrictive statement, really you're being very, very subjective. And therefore there really is doubt. And where there is doubt, there is subjunctive. C'est le meilleur voisin qu'on puisse avoir. It's the best neighbor that one could have. It's kind of like saying, mommy, you are the best mommy in the whole wide world. There's a lot of opinion there. Where there's lots of opinion, we use subjunctive. C'est la meilleure joueuse que nous puissions voir. It's the best player, a female one by the way. She's the best player that we could possibly see or that we could see. So it's like, hang on a minute. We got tickets to watch Fabienne Combe play tennis. Who is that? Oh, don't you know? C'est la meilleure joueuse que nous puissions voir. She's the best player we could possibly watch. There's opinion there. Mon mari est le meilleur prof avec qui tu puisses étudier. My husband is the best teacher with whom you could study. There's tons of opinion. That's why you're using subjunctive. And that is all for today. Thank you for listening.
And you can turn it off now because I am struggling with my computer.